What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today we have another regionals recap, and this time around we have Andrew, who participated in the UK regionals over the past weekend, and he played another Evatol deck. But this one is interesting because he didn't play the Archaeops or Glade, and of course we talk about that. You notice he plays two of these Fright Night Evatols, which are really good, and he talks about why they're such a good card. We talk about the Parallel City. He mentions the Drachi, the Hoopa. Um, we talk about the Fighting Fear Belts as well. Or were they better than Muscle Band? Did he miss Muscle Band? There's a lot of good stuff in this video. But hopefully you enjoy this interview and let's see it right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Today we do another Regionals recap. And uh, what's your name? Andrew Emerson. All right, what Regionals are we talking about? We're talking about Blackpool Regionals in the UK. All right. Now, we just saw your list. It was an Evatol make sure yeah just a straight evatol deck with no archaeops and everything uh so we'll go over the yeah no archaeops uh we'll go over that in a second though um but let's go over how your day your swiss went right so seven rounds of swiss i think 79 masters and you're looking at round one up against one of the locals playing a standard fairy mega mewtwo list uh went pretty simple two will win um round two up against Mega Man Garbodor. <laughs> Instant problems. <laughs> um, game one, open Evil Tally X, it all goes downhill from there. Uh, game two, get to go first, get a good gets us, take out his Ultra Ball, his only draw, and, you know, get set up. Open, I think I opened Fright Night, got a couple Dark Rise down, it's all going well. Then uh, he goes into his first turn and top decks an outward supporter, so that's great. Um, yeah, managed to keep going through the game. Um, you know, not benching anything that's weak to electric is very good. Um, and eventually scrape a win out. You know, knocking out the bench uh, Garbodors, bench Robber Fett, bench Mewtwo EX he was playing. And uh, yeah, scraped the scraped the gear, winning game two. Game three didn't go anywhere. No one had taken a prize, so I got a tie. Which I'm quite, uh, was quite chuffed with at the time. Yeah, we'll game three, it. yeah, <laughs> game three up against a, a dark deck with Maxi. Uh, a pretty simple two-a win. I mean, my deck is much more consistent in a mirror because I don't have the, you know, the Maxi things to to work around. So yeah, uh, round four up against a metal deck with Tarantrum and Giratina. Um, this is uh, Scott. He was UK national champion a couple of years ago. I played him in a cities last month in top eight, uh, and he soundly beat me um, then. And going into this one, I mean, I wasn't playing Fright Night then. I am now, and it swings the matchup so much. You can trap Keldios, you can, you know, put damage on the Tarantrums before they come active, and it just it helps so much in that game. And I managed a 2-0 win. With uh, in the second game, he had one card left in deck, and I got a lucky heads tails on a laser flip, and he couldn't do anything about it because I had a uh, fright knight in the active. So he could get Caldio there, but he couldn't retreat it. Uh, it was awesome. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, oh, every time yeah. you, know, you got to have a bit of win stuff. Uh, round five against Alex, who was last year's nationals winner, and he's playing Trevenant and Brick, and he straight beats me all too. I don't get any energy, or not enough at least, and just, you know, my uh, playing Hooper, I've benched too many AXs, six turns come and go, and they all get knocked out. Very bad news. Um, which leaves me with two rounds left, and I have to win both to make top eight. And top eight gets me my invite, so I really want to get top eight. <laughs> um, round six, I'm up against a guy called Brian. He's playing straight Mega Ray. Um, I spent Friday night testing this matchup so much and didn't win one game against... Even even when they opened Lone Egg, I couldn't get the Verbank and the Laser. It was awful. Um, so going into this, I was feeling awful. Game one, I go first. I get the Laser, Verbank, and the Hex, which is huge on his Shaman. Um, he takes his turn, doesn't bench another Pokemon... Shaman's coming into my turn with 50 HP left. Uh, Oblivion Wing for Poison Knockout for game one. So relieved. 
Game two, he goes first. He sets up his entire bench, and I scoop pretty quickly. Game three, uh, going first again, he opens Keldy. Uh, sorry, he opens Shaman again. I get the laser off. I get the hex off. Uh, he's forced to drop another Shaman. And importantly, it's the list with the time puzzles. It plays like five supporters. He battle compressed all of them. Turn one. All his draw support was in the bin. So turn two, I get my Hooper, I get my Keldeo and my Seismitoad, and I Toad forever. And <laughs> somehow win that game. He didn't get, you know, an attack off doing more than 30 damage. It was great. So, you know, final round winning in, um, come up against Primal Groudon. And, oh, I was so happy about that. It's it's a Fright Night Evil Tile makes that matchup so much better sure. than it used to be. Also, uh, Fighting Fury Belt on an Evil Tile means they need two strong energy on a Groudon to one shot you. Otherwise, they're leaving you with 10 HP and you can revenge kill them and they can't build up another one. Uh, I win game one pretty swiftly. Game two, I'm left with something three prizes left, and the act of Evil Tally X is my only attacker I've got left. Um, but he's only got one strong energy left, he can't one shot it, and I take the game. And oh, going to top eight is seventh seed, and just over the moon, I got me advice. <laughs> I mean, it was a it was a struggle, but you made it. So congratulations! Oh yeah, thanks, man. thanks. All right, so going to the top eight, are you nervous at all? Or are you just excited that you got your invite? Oh, I couldn't care less now. You know, <laughs> but I I got what I came there to get, and I was just happy with that. I was oh yeah, I was considering just going. I've got top eight, bye. I want to get home, but I figured nah, I'm on a good run now. I'll, I'll play it out. All right, so what happened in cut? Yeah, uh, so top eight, I'm playing Paul Stringer, and. I flip like a god. My my lasers, you know, he said I think I flipped 16 coins over the two games and only got two tails. And, you know, he can't wake up out of poison. I'm waking up out of everything. And I, I beat him 2-0. And I feel so bad in one way and so happy in another. <laughs> but, you know, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Lady luck on your side. Um, go on. Oh, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, top four, playing against Luke Williams, who's playing, you know, Turbo Darkrai with four Elixir, four Dark Patch, and, you know, two, two split of Darkrai Xs. Um, game one, I think, uh, well, he goes first. I play it out, I, you know, I get ahead, I stay ahead, win game one. Game two... Uh, he starts, he gets so much energy. I don't, he didn't whiff an elixir in the first two games. I think he only whiffed one in game three. Um, so yeah, he just piles energy on. I've got my Hooper prized. I can't get set up properly. Go to game three. Game three, I get the turn one gets us. Empty his hand of nothing but three dark energy. Set up pretty well. Got my Fright Knight in the active, I've got my bench with my Evil Tile, my Dark Rai, my Keldeo, my Toad, and he topped Exo Sycamore. Um, so, what should have been a pretty swift game goes a distance, but that deck runs so much, so many items. You've got Acrobite, you've got Trainer's Mail, you've got Dark Patch and Elixir, and so I just sit in Toad for a while uh, until I can get something going for me. Um, I told him, I think I ended up with 180 damage on a Dark Rai X with the Fighting Fury belt. And on his turn, he manually retreated into a Fright Knight and knocked it out himself. Which is a massive mistake on his part. But it, that meant um, we got called time, and we both had two prices left in game three. Um, he was turn three, so you know, going into my turn, I uh, just take the Dark Energy off the prizes, attach it to my Keldeo so I can rush and retreat into an Evil Tally X and knock out that. To take the fire what to take my fifth prize and win the game. Um, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> going, going into the final, I'm playing Ryan Morehouse. Now, I don't know how much you know about him. He came over and to Florida and won a couple of cities there. Yeah, back to back. He is, he is the god of Evil Tal. He can play that deck like no one else can. Um, I th I've only been playing the game, this is my second season. i played him nine times. And he's just insane um, so we're going to that he gets to go first he gets uh, well, 
turn one, he drops he's, uh, an evil tal, an evil tal EX, attaches an energy and passes. I'm like, wow. I got a pretty good setup and, you know, go through that game and, and win the game. One game one in a final against the best player in the UK. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, game two, uh, he gets to go first again. He gets set up pretty well. Um, goes ahead on prizes. My one N is prized and can't do anything to come back. You know, he, you know I think I've taken one or two prizes that game. Game three, I go first. I get pretty decent setup. I get the turn one. Gets this. He's got an N in hand. So that's okay, I emptied my hand out, I've got nothing left, played everything I could, he ends me, you know, we keep going. About three turns after that, I am sat with, you know, I can take a prize, but I have to play out my entire hand to do so, and just look at the odds, and I come away, I take something off the prizes that just, you know, keeps me in the game, I keep going, and it came down to, he had prized his one Lysander as his last prize, I think I had two prizes left, he had one, and it was his one Lysander. And I can Lysander Keldeo, Lysander Shaman, even, laser with Verbank in, uh, Ultra Ball for Shaman, trying to hit the either my computer search or one last dark patch out of, I think I was drawing five cards out of a seven card deck, uh, hit the dark patch, managed to retreat in the dark cry and take the win like that, and I was pretty pleased. I. <laughs> I've never taken a point from a regional before this, and I went and won one. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't leave like you said you were going to in top eight. I, I am. I am. I got back <laughs> home at I think half past three, and I'd work at seven. So that was pretty hard, but I'll take it for a regional's win. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's a very nice. Hi. I mean, you got your invite and a, champ like a regional championship the same day, so you can't pass that up. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I guess was, I think at least yeah I think there's at least four people got their invites at that tournament. Okay, cool. It was, it was a good deal, Ryan. There. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna start talking about your list real quick. And I guess the first question people are going to ask is, you didn't play the Maxis like you said. Why did you yep. not decide to play the Maxis Galade in the Archeops? It's not as consistent. Simply put, I mean I played well the first expanded tournament I played was Cities in January and I just figured you know, what had won the last big expanded tournament I'd seen, and that was Frank Diaz at Fort Wayne. So I took his list fiddled with it a bit Alright, so I heard kind of what you said when we were cutting off, it said that you play, you, yeah. play, you didn't play the Gallade because you saw Frank Diaz's list and you tested it at Cities and you won it yeah, I played, uh, played my first expanded event, the uh, Cities, won it with, well, it was pretty much Frank's list. I'd changed a couple of things. Um, and, and he... yeah, liked, liked it. Played uh, Didn't play much Evil Town uh, that day, but uh, I played Ryan again in the final, who was playing the, the Archeops build. And, yeah, just the added consistency from not having that get in the way is what got me the win that day. Um, so yeah, I just stuck with it. I won another expanded cities with it, the exact same list before, uh, before Breakpoint. Um, and then going into this one with Breakpoint legal, I figured well, there's no reason to change. Evil Tal is still like, well, if not bigger now than it was. So keep with it, because you know I can beat a mirror without Archeops pretty easily. Uh, beat a mirror with Archeops pretty easily, and a mirror without Archeops, you know it. I've still got that advantage of having my consistency then as well. That's very true. Okay, yeah. so in your list, you did decide to play the Fighting Fury Belt instead of Muscle Bands? Did yes. You, did you ever wish you had the Muscle Band instead of the Fury Belt? There was one or two times where, you know, the, the knockout would have been possible with that extra 10 damage. But the way I looked at it is, if other people are playing the Fury Belt, then my Muscle Bands aren't doing as much. I can't, it's harder for me to get the knockouts, I can't get them. So it makes sense for me to play the Fury Belt as well, because I'm not getting those one-hit knockouts as much anyway, because other people are playing it. And then if people are playing Muscle Band against me, it gives me the advantage of having that extra HP. So in the end, I was testing it with Muscle Bands. And the night before, when I was playing all these matches, testing and whatnot, I went with the Fury Belts, and it was such a good decision. 
Okay, cool. Now, another weird thing in your list is you play the two Verbank and the one Parallel City. Why the yes. split? Um, two Verbank because, you know, the 4-2 laser Verbank split's pretty standard. You know, you need that for the extra damage. Sure. The one Parallel is purely to bump stuff off my bench. You know, turn one, I'm looking to get Hooper, get two attackers or, you know, an attacker Keldio, and normally, Jirachi. Now, that Parallel, I play it... So I limit my bench to three, and I can instantly get rid of the Hooper and the Jirachi. That's why I play it. That's all it does. I never play it the other way around. And, you know, it takes two easy prizes off the bench and lets me, later on, you know, plunk down some fresh attackers once it's uh, the parallel's back gone again. And it's, it's a really good card. It's all I ever use it for. And it's, yeah, it's invaluable. To take that 90 HP EX away... Because they're only ever going to go after it as their last two prizes, because they can't afford to, you know, ignore the big threats you've got going. Mm. So you've got loads of time to find the parallel and to get rid of them. I, I really do like that idea because I've seen a lot of Evital decks, and the problem I always have was there's a dang Hoopa just sitting on my bench and I can't get <laughs> rid of it. And now <laughs> the the parallel makes so much sense, and I don't know why nobody has played it yet. Well, I've been playing it since January. I mean, it, it was potentially going to be an AZ at first, um, because I was playing with three Verbanks. Mm. Put it, tried the AZ, cut that, put the parallel in, and the parallels worked wonders. It's like two AZ in one turn. Yeah, you, you can't <laughs> use it, but, you know, two in one turn is even better. Yeah, true. Okay, now, you talked about the gets us some. How how do you determine when you're going to get us turn one? Uh. If you can get the Jirachi and the Getsus, you get us turn one. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So you always um, go for the Getsus turn one, you think? Oh, if I can, yeah. Yeah. There's, if you know what you're up against, there might be one or two times you don't. Like against Mega Ray, the turn one Hex is way bigger. To stop the Hoopers and the Shamans and everything, it's so, so big. So going into that matchup, I ignored Getsus completely. Um, but... Every other matchup gets us is if you can get it out going first turn one, well worth it. Okay, cool. Now, was there anything in the list that you kind of missed playing over the weekend, or you think the sixty cards are perfect? Um, nothing's ever perfect. True. <laughs> but um, I've been I've been practicing with this list, or you know, the pre breakpoint list a lot. And I think I've got to a point where I'm happy with everything. I mean, um, before breakpoints, I wasn't playing the Fright Knights, and I also wasn't playing a Float Stone. I was relying entirely on Oblivion winging a Dark Energy onto a Keldeo to get the, mobi uh, the mobility going. Um, and everyone kept saying, well, why don't you play a Float Stone? I'm going, I prefer three Muscle Band. Um, but there were always times then when I wanted the Float Stone and didn't get it. So I, I put one in, and... I, I think I'd recommend the the one float stone over a third muscle band or a third fighting fury belt. So I, you know, I didn't really miss them at all. Um, there's there's times when a second shaman would be nice. You know, when the first one's prized or when you've had to bump your uh, your first one with a, a parallel instead of getting the sky return it and reuse it. Um, but other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with it, and I'm going to keep going with it. <laughs> That's true. Now, Generation wasn't legal for this tournament, correct? Yes, correct. Okay. So if Generations was legal, the next regionals to go to, do you think Jolteon would make like a... Do you, would do Jolteon scare you to make a difference in your list, or does Jolteon scare you at all? Um... If Jolteon gets going, it beats the list completely, which is a bad thing. True. But, um, I don't know. I don't think it'll be as big a thing as as people are making out. Um, but time will tell. You know, you've got, you know, Toad and lasers, and you can play around it. I mean, it's not an easy matchup by any means, but I reckon you can still... You can still beat it, or at least scrape a tie like I did against Mega Man. 
Yeah, that is true, yeah. It's just funny that people are, like, super hype and Jolteon, so I thought it's a, it's a fun question to ask people. So. Yeah, well, I'll admit I've got my three already, so... <laughs> oh, there you go, very nice. Uh, you never know, you never know. Alright, so looking forward, are there any more regionals you're going to? I'm going to Northern Ireland this weekend, and then I think I'm looking at Glasgow at the start of April. Okay, alright. Now, this week in Generations is legal, correct? Uh, I do not know. I'm not sure either. Now, are you going to consider the same deck if Generations is not legal? Oh, definitely. But, you know, considering I've got the invite, I'm also considering Excel go. <laughs> oh, man, going to have some fun. That sounds good. Just uh, something a bit out there, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, do you want to give me a shout-out to anybody? Um, yeah, quite a few, unfortunately. Bear with me. Um, big shout out to Dark Matter and Durham. It's where I play. It's where they put up with me. Um, and so all, all the gang there, great thanks, great help. Um, to Rick and Laura for letting me crash on Friday night. And for Rick for saying, you know, I was drawing dead on Friday night and he said, change your sleeves. I changed my sleeves and it was brilliant. <laughs> Best advice I've ever gotten. Um, to the guys in OSJ, my team. You know, my, my testing partners, they've uh, they've helped. They've put a lot of time into me, helped me with this list. So, yeah, that's grand. That's a lot, I think. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview. Good luck at your other regionals, for sure. And uh, congrats yes. on winning. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, no problem. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Hopefully you learned something new about Evatol. We haven't really covered a straight Evatol. They've always been, like, Archaeops and stuff like that. So something, I even though it's the same Evil Talk deck, it's kind of totally different, if that makes sense at all. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.